Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about AWS Lambda function URL. Okay, so function URL is uh, an HTTP or HTTPS endpoint that you uh, create for your Lambda. And uh, this endpoint can be used uh, to trigger the Lambda from uh, like a browser or curl command or a postman or any API call. Okay, so uh, that is a function URL. So in this tutorial, let's see how to create a function URL and uh, how to use them. So I'm going to create a new function for this and uh, call this as URL test. I'm going to create it in Python. And uh, when you're creating this, if you expand this advanced settings here, so you have something called as enable function URL. So it says use function URLs to assign HTTP, HTTPS endpoints to your Lambda function. Okay, so I'm going to enable that. So once you enable that, you get an option to select authentication type. So uh, you have two options essentially that is AWS IAM and uh, none. So when you select AWS IAM, only authenticated IAM users will be able to invoke your uh, Lambda function through that uh, function URL. Uh, when you keep none, anyone can invoke that uh, Lambda uh, with just that endpoint. Okay, so uh, I will select none for this uh, demo purposes. So when you select none, it will automatically create this policy and attach it to your uh, uh, you know lambda so basically if you see it, it is giving the lambda function invoke url on this lambda to a principal star which means like uh, anyone can invoke this lambda okay so uh, that is fine uh, so we will select uh, none for uh, authentication we will also see how to uh, use this aws im also Okay, so uh, the next thing that you have is invoke mode, uh, which is uh, you have two options here, which is buffered and uh, response stream. So buffered, uh, when you select this, basically you will get the response only when like, I mean, you receive the entire payload from the Lambda uh, at the end. Uh, if you select the response stream, you can actually uh, get the streaming responses uh, from the invocation. So I'm going to select buffered uh, for this. Uh, this demo and you can also configure uh, cores to allow from uh, i mean any origin you can uh, control access for http address and things like that. so i mean we are not going to select this one for now so which is fine so so yep with these options let's create the function so when you create the function it's going to take a couple of moments to create the function so let's wait for that so yep when uh, you create the function, you will see something called uh, function URL here. So this is the URL that can be used to uh, trigger this Lambda from uh, any uh, browser or uh, postman or anywhere. Okay, so uh, this is the, so let me just uh, modify this and do something like print uh, hello from AWS made easy. Okay, and deploy this change and uh, after deploying, let's try to invoke this Lambda from the browser itself. Okay, it says null. Let's try again. So uh, we are getting null here. I think the reason for that is we are not returning anything from this function. So instead of print, let's modify this to return. Okay, and deploy this change. Then we will Invoke. So if you see here, now uh, I'm invoking this Lambda from my uh, browser using the uh, endpoint that we created and this is our. So basically, if you uh, noticed, uh, this did not involve any authentication. So anyone with this endpoint can trigger this Lambda. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we are going to see is uh, the authentication type setting to IAM. Okay, uh, so here, uh, if you see, like, I mean, we had showed this has uh, added that resource based policy and it is apply, uh, I mean, allowing uh, everyone to uh, invoke my Lambda. So you can, let's try and delete this policy and then try to invoke the Lambda. Now we can see that uh, it is forbidden. Okay, so let's try and add permissions here. So here, click on function URL. So now authentication type, we can select AWS IAM. So you can give any uh, statement ID that you want. And here you can give the principal, uh, which basically uh, the only principal which you want to give access to be able to invoke this uh, Lambda. So you can give that uh, principal and then you are giving the Lambda invoke uh, function URL to that uh, principal and you can save it and then uh, trigger. So then it will uh, allow only that IAM user to uh, trigger this Lambda. 
okay so uh, that was a quick demo on uh, the aws lambda function urls i hope you found this uh, video helpful if you did please uh, do like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and i'll see you in the next video